Hi guys, good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we'll be talking about alternative careers for doctors or what skills you need to be studying in 2022 and onwards if you're a doctor, if you're a junior doctor and in my opinion why we should be studying the skills. Well basically doctors, most of us tend to work in hospitals, we tend to do extremely clinically oriented work work which is directly related to the patient and requires you to be on site especially by the bedside of the patient as we progress to a new era where technology is ever growing especially with the past pandemic we just had that pushed the use of technology to a new level new skills i think are going to be needed for the future doctors and for us to be able not only to serve the patient directly by the bedside, but also to serve the patient online or to use our skills to build a variety of software tools. So, currently I am doing a master's degree with the Digital University that is located in Barcelona and with the university I am currently studying machine learning, AI, Python, coding, and big data analytics. Why is this important? Well, basically, learning new skills as a medical doctor does not put you at a disadvantage, but puts you at a greater advantage when it comes to your employability and your ability also to create your own business. If you're entrepreneurial and you think of an entrepreneurial mindset and creation of a particular business is the way to go, then learning new skills and applying them to an online system is by far the best way to move forward in the current age. So, why coding? Doctors, although we learn and we spend years studying skills directly related to medicine, like surgical skills, like pharmacology, like medication treatment, medication management, etc., learning IT skills, especially coding, I think is not a waste of time but it's a valuable skill for us to gain because it puts us at an advantage where we can not only change our practice but also create new methods, new systems to help us not only serve the patient better but also ourselves. Most of the times we doctors work long shifts, we are in hospital for long hours a day, Okay, we stay hours, days, even lose weekends, we lose family commitments, we lose um, Christmas, New Year, etc. Because the job itself sometimes can be inflexible. Why is this so? It is also so because number one, there, there aren't enough doctors to fill up the gaps. Number two, if a doctor is in quarantine or can't come directly on that particular day, either because of a storm or because of a lack of transportation, you will need to bring in a locum. And if there is no locums, unfortunately, the shifts have to be filled in by someone else. And this creates a backlog, it creates waiting times, queues, etc. Now, if we have doctors which are able to work online and have direct online consultations rather than phone consultations, this will make the system safer, of course, when directly, for example, consulting about a particular patient, and it will make the process faster. The, making the patient's journey from the A&E to the world faster, safer and more secure. Learning skills in coding therefore can help us create these new software tools that we dreadfully need and it can also offer new job opportunities to various doctors. If we look at various online sites, recruitment job sites and for example if you look at indeed.com, monster.com or jobs.com or you look at various jobs on Google, you can see that the future jobs which are popping up at a very huge rate are basically IT jobs. Jobs involving data analytics, big data, software development and coding skills. Jobs that require coding skills and digital marketing. Why is this important? This is important because if you're a doctor and for example you've done your FY years and you want to move on to a new career, or take your career to another level rather than the clinical route, you can always have the option to go and work as a software engineer in a medical company or as a software developer having a strong medical background, 
makes you an asset because you can create software or you can create a variety of apps which help the patient better rather than having a software engineer develop an application that he knows nothing about because he does not have enough medical background to do so. So knowing certain skills such as software skills, coding skills and analysis of data is also important in, for example, research areas because using Python rather than other statistical methods makes it easier for us to analyze enormous amounts of data. When it comes to Python, for example, the power of Python is that it can be used by the use of pandas to analyze gigantic amounts of data. Rather than employing the previous methods, for example, Excel, SPSS, etc., which is extremely time consuming, you can directly upload your CVS file, your research file into the Python IDE or the Python analyzer you're using and directly calculate the data from there. So guys, I think this is it basically um, with regards to uh, my opinions on uh, why we doctors should uh, learn new skills in medicine etc. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe to my channel, any questions you have please comment in the section below. Cheers and see you next time.